Hey, first grade, let's do our reading lesson for the day. We are still talking about insects, and today is day three. First, let's talk about plot, the cause and effect. So, the cause. What is the cause? The cause is why something happens, and the effect is what happens because of the cause. So listen as I read this short part from our story. Still a pal. The bugs did not find Caterpillar. Many days went by. The pals were sad. Then one day they saw a beautiful bug with gold wings. Hi, I'm back, the bug called as he flew by. I wrapped up and rested, and then I popped out like this. It's me, Butterfly. I used to be Caterpillar, cried Butterfly. But you are not the same sighed Ant. But I am still a pal, said Butterfly. And now I can flit and dip. Well, let's go have some fun. So what was the cause? What happened in the story? The bugs did not find Caterpillar. And what was the effect? What happened because they couldn't find Caterpillar? The bugs were sad, right? So in cause and effect, we can see this in most of our stories. And a lot of the time, you were already putting together what cause and effects were, and you didn't even know it. So it's pretty cool. And we'll continue to have practice with cause and effect throughout the school year. Appropriate phrasing. We've recently talked about this as well. That, that's where you take those pauses when you see commas and punctuation marks. Remember, you pause a little bit longer when you see a period or exclamation mark or a question mark than you do for a comma. A comma is slightly shorter of a pause. So, like it says on our slide, when you see a comma, you pause slightly. When you see a period, you pause slightly longer. A comma separates ideas or lists in a sentence, so we pause to show the separation. A sentence is a whole idea, so we pause between sentences to separate each idea. We're going to skip over this activity. Okay, guys, let's read like a robot. So listen as I do this first example for you. Light. Ol. I. Light. Great job. Do the next one with me. Sky. Ready? S -k -i. Sky. Wonderful. Keep doing them. Our next word, might. Ready? Sound it out. M -i -t. Might. Wonderful. Our fourth word, fly. Ready? F -o I fly. Wonderful. Next word, pie. Sound it out. P I pie. That one was really easy. Okay, here's our next word. Tried. Ready? T er I d. Tried. Great job. Next word, fry. Er, I, fry. Okay, right. Ready? Let's sound it out. Er, I, t, right. We only have three words left. Hang in there. You guys are doing great. Blind. Sound it out. B, o, i, n, d, blind. Okay, find, f i n d, find. Great job, last one. Hi, h i, hi. Give yourselves a big pat on the back. You did a great job. Practice some of our long I words with me. Remember this week as we focus on long I, we're looking at some new long I spellings. Some of our long I spellings we're going to focus on is I, Y, I, G, H, and I, E. Say these words at home with me. Right, high, fly, find, 
sky, high, second line, by, I, tie, cry, sigh, night, wonderful, third line, lit, light, kid, kind, tie, toe, fourth line, spied, fried, tries, side, flies, cried. Okay, let me see if I can make myself smaller or just move. <laughs> okay. It's not working with me today. Okay. Why did the child cry? The plane can fly high in the sky. The bright light came on at night. Okay, let's look at our next slide. Let's review some of our inflectional endings. And that's putting our ES, ED, and ING endings on words. And remember, when you're adding an ES or an ED ending, you change the Y to an I and you add ES. Or you change the Y to an I and you add ED. But the important thing to remember is that when you add ING to a word, you don't change the Y. You let the Y stay. So try. When we want to change that word to tried, you change the Y to an I and you add ED. What about tries? You change the Y to an I and add ES. When we look at a word trying, we leave the letter Y and we just add I and G. Let's look at our next example. Fly. If I wanted to say she flies home tomorrow, I would have to change that Y to an I and add ES. But flying, like if I wanted to say I am flying out tomorrow, all I would have to do is add my I and G. I wouldn't have to change my Y. Let's talk about another example. Rely, like when you're counting on someone to help you out or do things for you. When I rely, I can say relies, like she relies on me, or she relied on me. I would have to change that Y to an I and add ED. Or she relies, you would change the Y to an I and add ES. But relying, if I said they are relying on me. I wouldn't have to change my Y. I can just add my I and G. And you've already written your sight words in your journal last week, and you used each word in a sentence. Okay, this is where you're going to pick up on my second video, and I will be back shortly with that second video to finish out our reading lesson for the day. See you soon.